tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Be looking into beauty and lifestyle through the lens of artists that serve us the fleekest glam looks and are at the forefront of the beauty industry. Beauty expert, hair and makeup artist. Oh, de ba? But the discussion won't stop there. Today, we've invited a beauty expert and a celebrity hairstylist who are proudly part of the LGBTQ plus community. So with that, we'll not be only talking about their experiences in their craft, but also that in relation to being part of that beautiful community. Kasi syempre, celebrating pride does not and should not end in June. So stay tuned till the end of this episode for an intense chikahan of their journey in the beauty industry and even snatch some important learnings on self-love and confidence along the way. How your life was before becoming the Julia Fresh and the Jake Galvez, no? Parang, ano ba kayo before like, becoming like a beauty expert or becoming the celebrity hairstylist? So maybe this time, we can start with Jake muna, no? So, ano ba? How were you before? Like, before... Sige. Well, me... Me, kasi I started my career as... Well, strangely, I really, uh, I really started as a um, as a manager of our business. So I started first um, working on with our family business, but it is still um, associated to beauty. But I wasn't working as an artist, so I was I was supervising our salon, and then eventually I started already supervising our beauty school. So imagine as a beauty industry, oh, talaga. Oh. And then eventually through training and through observation, through internship, through studying. Ayaw, natutunan ako to do makeup. And actually, lahat. I studied everything. And yun na, my career, my career started as a makeup artist na. I started from the bottom. Ako, laking parlor talaga ako. So talagang natutunan talaga ako pagwalis ng mga buhok. Natutunan ako pag-shampoo ng, 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 ano, shampoo ng mga clients. Mag-blower, everything. So talagang I started from the ground up. So talagang you have to learn talaga the fundamentals. Talagang lahat. Mag-assist, maghawak ng curlers, maghawak ng brush, tiga-abot ng gunting, tiga-abot ng supply. Lahat yan. Naranasan ko. How about you, Julia? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, kasi dati nag-ano nag, na ako, parang nag-school pa lang ako. Binu- binubudol ko na kasi yung mga fr- mga classmates sumali kayo ng mga pageant, mga bakla kayo, ganyan-ganyan. So, inuunti-unti ko sila. Yun hanggang sa graduate ako, nakakaraket talaga ako sa mga beauty pageant. So, dun ako nag-start. Hindi kasi ako, I mean, nag-graduate ako ng school, pero hindi ako nag-aral ng makeup something-something. As in, makapal lang siguro talaga mukha ako dati. As in, more of experience lang ako. And then, yun nga, katulad nung kay Mama JT, kay Ma- si Mama JT, Si pang mayaman yung kanilang mga Jakey. Confidence lang. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero kasi, kanilang mga Jakey mayaman, salon kasi sila eh. Kami parang alang sidewalk na parlor lang kami. So, tambay ako dun sa mga mamamama ng mga bakla. Watch-watch lang ako. Ganyan-ganyan. Hanggang sa natuto. Pero hindi naman ako nagwalit, no? Taray <laughs> lang. <laughs> nagwalis ako, ako nagwalis ako. Oo. Pero mas may pero mas mayaman yan si Mama Jake sa akin. Kasi <laughs> ayun, sumasama sa sumasama-sama na ako sa mga friends. Ganyan hanggang sa natutunan na tuto. Ang dami ng katanungan sa akin, tanda ako nag-aral. Hindi, guys, hindi ako nag-aral at all. As in kung gusto niyo yung ginagawa niyo, mag-watch kayo sa YouTube. Ka- for me kasi, naging practical lang ako. I mean, naman natin, ang mahal ng makeup. Aliyah, alam mo yun. Dahil alam ko, nag-aral ka ng makeup. Ang Ay, mahal yes. niya. Ang mahal niya. Ay, baka, wait ha. Baka ikot ako ng mga nag-aral. I mean, kanya-kanya kasi yan eh. It's a pen. Kumbaga, yeah. Oo. Kanya-kanya yeah. sa Skytel. Kung gusto niyo mag-aral, mag-aral kayo. Ako kasi, wala naman, wala naman akong pambayan. Yes. Alam mo naman. So, <laughs> nag-aral. Yes. Diba? Yes. Yun. Tapos, Yon, eto na ako, maganda na ako bigla. Oh, wow, de ba? Hindi pa rin Julia. De ba? Kaya maganda yun. Julia, your it started with passion with Julia. Oh, oh, so yung passion yeah. na yun. Oh. Diba? Naging ano siya, naging way siya na matuto ka. And actually, oh, yeah. being an intern dun sa salota yun, learning pa din yun for you. Oh, learning. Diba? Dun din ako nag-aaral eh. Kasi kahit 
matambay ka man, yung ginagawa ng mga bakla, yung mga mga nauna yes. sa'yo, matutunan na matutunan mo kahit sa mata lang eh. Totoo. Yeah. No, I believe that. Na, you know what I'm saying? Experience is the best teacher also talaga. Na sometimes kasi, you know, not everyone really is fortunate to learn in the same level. So, you have to, magkilang talaga magsunod. You have to look na sa hindi mong um, paraan, paano sa beauty and pride mean to you. Since you're both part of the LGBTQ plus community, very proud members. I love it. Like, such a beautiful community talaga. I'm really, I really look up to you guys. I also watch you guys nga. Ako, ako beauty, it, it has so much, so many meanings eh. Pero, ako, the true meaning of beauty is being confident, being who you really are. And, ako, in Becky Nights, our our mantra ever since is being who you are, expressing yourself, and and being not afraid of whatever is in your mind. Kanya kanya na well, yun yung may kanya kanya ta ang perception. For me, kasi ang beauty hindi lang as yung kung ano yung panlabas mo. Sure, kailangan maganda rin yung attitude mo. Yeah. So, kasi hindi. I mean, syempre, hindi naman tayo lahat binayaan ng kagandahan. Siguro ako lang. Yeah. <laughs> yung kas- katulad na lagi sinasabi ni Mama Jiki kasi yan sa akin, parang kailangan be true, be, th- ano yung mama? Parang be to you, be true, ano yung true to yourself. Be to yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. And syempre, yung attitude mo, kahit syempre, minsan kahit alam mo nang medyo umaangat ka, so dapat, be humble pa din. You have to, ano, look back. Diba? I agree with you both nga na yung attitude mo, lumalabas yan eh. Like, with how your aura, your vibe to everyone. Diba? Kasi your beauty, yeah, your aura. everyone sees you there. So, kung ano yung attitude mo, ano yung aura mo sa kanila, your energy to them, that's how they see you eh. Yung what you give up to them. Na, kung magat ko mabait ka, yeah. humble, if you're just true to yourself, di ba? Parang they'll look up to you kasi wow, ang, ang ganda ng kalawang beauty. Before, before, Julia has been telling me, uh, uh, ma, ano bang dapat kong gawin? I mean, eto, eh, honest to ha, like, kasi ang dami nagsasabi na I shouldn't be doing like this, parang kanya Sabi ko, why are you being hesitant on doing what you want to do? Like, kasi syempre, ikaw yan eh. That's your personality. That's your true self. Bakit mo pipigilan yung sarili mo na mag-post ka ng ganito, magpo-post ka ng sarili mo ng ganito, showing yourself. So, showing your true self is being who you are. Ay, yan yung nagpapasaya sa'yo. So, I mean, I mean, don't stop being yourself. So, parang, before, parang hesitant siya na, ah, I don't Oh. I think meron dapat akong brand na pinapakita or dapat meron ako na facade. Sabi ko, I don't think you should I should you should do that. Just show yourself. So Julia Fresh is Julia Fresh. Your Pride Month was la um June, diba? But I want to also um share na you know, Pride does not end in June. Diba? Like how you always you should celebrate every day. Oh yeah. 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 Proud members of the community, and I, I be like a fan of that community. Uh, I want to know also, um, share to our viewers right now what pride means to you also. Well, Mama yeah, G- pride G- means. Ako, I said it to our show previously. Pride is all about helping each other, setting aside your egos, and you know if you if you need help, whether you're in the LGBTQIA plus community or not, um, we are willing to help each other. Because na pansin ko no Pride Month, parang even people from the LGBT community has been fighting, quarreling, um, and creating chaos with each other. So, parang sabi ko, teka, magtulungan tayo. Kasi, di ba, we are, we have the same goal. We want, we want equality. We want to be accepted. We, ha- we have, ang dami natin pinaglalaban. And the only, the only way for us to be, um, to be heard is to be united. So, sabi ko, tara, let's help each other. Wag na tayo mag-away-away. Lahat ng tao talaga divided during Pride Day pa. During Pride Day. So, parang, yun. Yun lang naman. That's a true meaning of Pride for me, helping, helping. each other. Wow, oh, <laughs> um, How and or when did you first get started with hair and makeup? So, para when did you first realize your passion for art? So, yung beginnings, influence, or new journey? 
na mag- Oh, okay, sige. I'll start with I'll start. So, I started first kasi since I grew up, part laki parlor ako. But um I I, I was I, I I I I grew up learning all the tricks and uh, of the trade and everything. Pero actually hindi siya yung winish ko na industry. I wanted to be somewhere in the creative and arts industry. But sabi ko, I wanna I actually wanna do something that's different from what our family business is doing currently doing at that time nung bata ako. So sabi ko, I want to do something more on the arts like um, um, interior design or maybe um, something something to do with art. So maybe siguro illustration, something like that. Pero eventually, parang when I graduated college, which I, I finished, um, I finished with business administration. I had no choice but to manage our own yeah. business. So I, yeah. So I think most of our viewers na may mga family business na hindi nila na parang talagang the parents will automatic will al- parang they have this power talaga to hindi naman manipulate your ano pero parang meron sila talaga powers na sige na help our business tulungan mo na kami parang we need your help that's why pinag-aral ka namin because kailangan mo kami tulungan and uh, uh, as a as a good son uh, wow good son <laughs> talagang um, tumulong ako tumulong ako with managing our business since um, our business has been in the late 70s uh, started in the late 70s. So, medyo parang um, I started improving our process, upgrading our style of um, dealing with clients, and then improving everything. And then eventually, nagustuhan ko siya. So, sabi ko, uh, parang medyo, parang, parang, parang ano siya eh, parang naging ano siya, nagkaroon ako ng light moment na, ay, parang gusto ko nga siya. Parang, I think this is the industry that I, I want to enter. And then, after that, I studied. I studied abroad, and then because um, uh, dun ko na dun ko na ano na parang since I was assigned to do the I, I was I, I was assigned to manage the beauty school. I need to learn the tricks of how to run a beauty school. Yeah. So ang nangyari is I studied all the cosmetology talaga from hair cutting, manicure, pedicure. Uh-huh. Um, from makeup, from hairstyling, lahat yan pinag-aralan ko. And then, eventually, from there, nung, nung napag-aralan ko na siya lahat, I realized na I wanted to focus on just one. Kasi parang sabi nila, you cannot be a master of everything. Parang, if you want to be, if you want to be um, famous with one thing, it has to be something lang. Either makeup, hair, hair cutting, or ano. So parang sabi ko, ano bang gusto ko talaga? And since I was really inclined into the artistic side, parang nag-focus ako on makeup. And I think yung, yung, yung creative side ko talaga, nalalabas ko siya through creating different looks of makeup. So, ayun, doon siya doon na na-develop yung ano, doon na na-develop yung yung interest ko with makeup. Yeah, with interest ko with makeup. Yeah, so ayun, so nag-start siya by doing I started um, creating looks with my sisters, with my cousins, mm-hmm. yung mom ko, pinaglalaruan ko, tapos Dun, I think doon naman lahat nagsisimula eh. Mag-explore ka sa mga friends mo. <laughs> oh, practice, practice ka sa mga friends mo. Ang dami kong photos talaga ng mga talaga makeup disasters. So, nagsisimula pa lang ako. And then, ayun. And then, I started from the ground up. Sabi ko, I wanted to explore um, doing makeup in editorials. Kasi, I studied also um, editorial makeup in Europe. Kung paano ko sisimulan. Pero kasi, guys, Bago ko maging hairstylist, makeup artist talaga ako. <laughs> Oo. Yeah. Ayun. Um, yeah. Paano pa ako nag-start? Yun yung nag-start kasi ako. Yung katulad yung kay Mama JT. Sa Pyro kasi din na talaga ako tampay sa mga, sa mga friends ko. As in talaga minsan kung sino yung mga tambay doon ng mga bakla or mga babae. Sa salon, yung nangatak talaga namin. Kung dito kayo, pumasok kayo dito. Pagtitripan namin kayo. Tapos yung make-upan, kahit yung make-up. Oo, oh, oh, dyan nagsisimula lahat. Yeah. Yes! Tapos, ano hanggang sa, meron akong friend na, yung dating mga nagbumodel-model, para lang meron pang ano, pang set card, parang ganun. Portfolio. Mm-hmm. Oo, yes, ma. Yes, yes. Tapos sabi, sabi ko, sige, gawa ko dyan kahit libre mo lang akong pamasahe. Ganyan-ganyan. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.